objectives after the completion of this module you will thoroughly understand the following what is vermicompost benefits of vermicompost to farmers suitable location for vermicompost preparation materials required for preparation of vermicompost tools and implements required for preparation of vermicompost pits how to construct vermicompost pits and tubes procedure for preparation of vermicompost how to know that vermicompost have developed utilization of vermicompost precautions to be taken in preparing vermicompost introduction in rural areas production of organic waste from agricultural animal husbandry and household kitchen waste material are available in high quantity from these organic waste carbon phosphorus and related nutrients are available which are useful for soil and crops we have already discussed about decomposing raw organic waste in compost pit now let us know how to decompose raw organic waste using earthworms earthworms eat this organic waste and give worm casting which is manure by this method by using earthworms decomposing the organic waste into manure is called vermicompost vermicompost is having 50% nutritional values than normal compost moreover there are high amounts of mineral elements and hormones that lead to improved crop growth benefits of vermicompost to farmers due to usage of vermicompost soil fertility improves and also it does not lose its natural trait use of vermicompost decreases the production cost and increases the productivity and profitability the natural microbes present in the soil can be protected by use of vermicompost by using unused waste this manure can be prepared there is no need of technical knowledge to produce this manure farmers can prepare the manure themselves we can produce how much amount we need produce manure can be used for their fields or they can sell when compared to chemical fertilizers it can be produced with low cost and with more nutrient value in manure crops can get resistance to drought by using this manure vegetables and fruits can get more shelf life by using organic manures vermicompost production gives self employment to rural people by producing vermicompost with organic waste we can protect from environmental pollution and also keep our surroundings clear using vermicompost to fruit crops vegetable crops and flower crops and all commercial crops leads to high profits 
minerals and nutrients required for crops are available in vermi compost vermi compost suppresses the microorganisms which causes diseases suitable location required for vermi compost preparation the site with slight slope with no water stagnation under trees or temporary shades can be used for preparation of vermi compost select the sites in places where adequate agricultural waste is available raw material required for vermi compost production earthworms organic waste water to protect earthworms from the sun and rain we need a shade for compost that is known as vermi compost shed earthworms for vermi compost preparation select earthworms which are not burrowings eating only organic waste materials to be selected like asenia foctida idrillus cugenia ferritama elongate ferionix extritus and lubricus rabelis etc are suitable for vermi compost preparation These are available at Krishi Vignana Kendras research centers and stations and also at some private organizations. Earthworms can also be procured from farmers who are having vermi compost units. Organic materials. The following organic materials can be used for production of vermi compost unused straw grass dry leaves twigs weeds crop residues farm yard manure poultry manure etc and rotten vegetables fruit waste kitchen waste can also be used not only these but subabul pongamia leaves sugarcane trash coconut fiber are also required water during the preparation of vermi compost using water is very important the earthworms used for preparation of vermi compost should not be exposed to direct sunlight so there should be sufficient shade by constructing a shade palm tree leaves by constructing a shade we not only provide shade to earthworms but also help maintain moisture in the vermi compost by avoiding vaporization also we can protect the vermi compost pit from rainwater which causes draining of nutrients implements thread lime powder carpenter level tools crowbars spades cane baskets rammers materials bricks cement sand installation of panel for shade to vermi compost pits poles palm yara leaves rice straw old gunny bags methods for preparation of vermi compost there are two methods 
for preparation of vermi compost ring method and shade method the ring method as we have seen in the series for this ring method 0.5 meter diameter rings with 0.6 meter height should be used this method is used when low amount of vermi compost prepared this method can be used in houses where vegetables and flowers are grown vermi compost preparation method in rings is like the shade method 100 to 200 earthworms are sufficient for vermi compost preparation in ring method shed method to prepare vermi compost in this method first we have to mark for construction of a shade in the place selected for construction of shade first we have to mark a point as a with a wooden stick from point a measure 4 meters and put a stick and mark it as b connect a and b with a thread by using cross labels from b pull a thread at 90 degrees up to 0.9 meters and fix a wooden stick and mark it as c connect b c with a thread now put across labels at c at 90 degrees to c pull a thread up to 4 meters and fix a wooden stick and mark it as d connect c d with a thread connect a d sticks with a thread draw a line on the thread that connected a b c and d with lime powder procedure for construction of vermi compost bed we will see the procedure of constructing shade for vermi compost marked a b c d bottom center point to be pressed this is called bed dig a trench around marked a b c and d construct a brick thickness wall with cement in the rectangular trench bottom of the bed should be with sufficient slope with no water stagnation on the four sides of bed construct 0.60 meters of brick or slab walls one trench should be there around the shed for storing water so that earthworms can be protected from ants after completion of shed palmyara leaves or grass are to be used on the poles for covering to get shade by providing top cover earthworms are protected from sunlight and rain method for preparation of vermi compost after the construction of vermi compost bed the bottom to be filled with brick pieces up to 4.5 cm on this 2 to 3 in layer sand and soil should be filled to prevent ants and termites into the bed neem or pongamia leaves are to be filled after that dry banana leaves rice straw weeds etc are all to be layered at 
3 to 4 inches thickness. Rotten vegetables, used flowers, sugarcane pulp, coconut fiber are to be filled in the bed. On the organic waste, 3 to 4 inches of farmyard manure has to be applied. After applying waste and dung, water to be spread on the bed. This way, watering should be done often for one week. After one week on the dung, for one gram meter, nearly thousand earthworms to be released into the bed. Before leaving earthworms, just disturb the bed and leave the earthworms which is considered to be good. After that, organic waste and cow dung has to be mixed and filled up to one feet thickness. The prepared bed has to be covered with wet gunny bags. The bed has to be covered with wire mesh. Every day, water has to be sprinkled on bed to maintain moisture. For every 15 to 20 days, gunny bags have to be taken out and the beds have to be turned and again covered with gunny bags. By doing this, Wormy compost can be prepared in two to three months. To know whether vermi compost process is completed after the manure has been made, earthworms cannot stay inside the gunny bags, but they clinch onto the bags. This is a sign that vermi compost process is completed. The prepared vermi compost is like tea powder with light weight with no bad smell. After confirming that vermi compost is ready, stop watering the bed for four to five days. The gunny bags covered on the bed should be removed. Then start taking compost from top of the bed. For moisture, earthworms go deep into the bed. Make the compost into small heaps and sieve in 2 mm holes sieve. Sieved compost should be filled in bags. The non-sieved materials and earthworms can be used again for wormy compost preparation. Like this, we can prepare vermi compost for four to five times per year. Nutrients available in vermi compost. We will see the percentage of nutrients present in vermi compost. Organic carbon. 20 to 25 percentage nitrogen 1.5 to 2 percentage phosphorus 0.5 to 1.5 percentage potash 0.5 to 1 percentage calcium 0.4 to 0.8 percentage magnesium 0.3 to 0.6 percentage. Sulfur 100 to 500 ppm. Iron 6.7 to 9.3 ppm. Copper 2 to 9.5 ppm. Zinc 5.7 to 11.5 ppm. 1 ppm is equal to 1 part in 10 lakhs. Procedure for using vermi compost. Crop. Rice. Dose per acre 1 ton. 
method of usage after transplanting sugar cane dose per acre one and a half ton method of usage at pluffing cotton dose per acre one ton method of usage at the time of pluffing chili dose per acre one ton method of usage at the time of pluffing groundnut dose per acre half ton method of usage at the time of pluffing sunflower dose per acre one and a half ton method of usage at the time of pluffing maize dose per acre one ton method of usage at the time of pluffing turmeric dose per acre one ton method of usage at the time of pluffing grape dose per acre one ton method of usage june to july citrus pomegranate goa bear dose per acre 2 kg per tree 1 to 2 years age method of usage at the time of planting and before flowering mango coconut up to 5 years age method of usage at the time of planting trees of 1 to 5 years of age dose per acre 2 to 5 kgs per tree time of usage June to July during pluffing trees of 5 to 9 years of age dose per acre 10 kgs per tree time of usage June to July during pluffing trees above 10 years of age dose per acre 20 kgs per tree time of usage june to july during pluffing onion garlic tomato potato bhindi brinjal cabbages cauliflower etc dose per acre one to one and a half ton method of usage after pluffing teak rosewood magnium dose per acre three kg per tree method of usage at the time of planting per one acre one ton or 10 quintals of vermi compost can be used at sowing pluffing crop growing stage precautions measures to be taken while preparing vermi compost Without providing shade, vermi compost beds should not be constructed. Shade should be provided to protect 
warms from direct sunlight. Small quantity of earthworms should be placed in beds. 1 kg of earthworms have to be placed in 1 square meter. Wormy compost preparation process become late if less number of earthworms are placed in the bed. Bed should not be left without watering. Regular sprinkling of water to be done on the bed to maintain moisture. Two wet dung should not be placed in wormy compost bed. Semi dried dung to be filled in the beds only. Wet dung increases the heat to the bed which causes death of earthworms. Without trench, wormy compost bed should not be constructed. Trench should be there around the bed, filled with water, so that earthworms are protected from ants. Wormy compost bed should not be left bare without shade. Top of the wormy compost bed should be covered with gunny bags, so that moisture can be maintained in the bed. The top of the wormy compost bed should not be left out without covering it with wire mesh. The top of the wormy compost bed has to be covered with wire mesh. Bed should not be constructed without drainage outlet. One drain should be there to leave excess moisture. If there is more moisture, compost tent may get damaged. Wormy compost should not be taken without separating earthworms. Wormy compost should be raised for earthworms so that the separated earthworms can be used again for composting. Watering should be done in the bed, 4 to 5 days prior to taking out the compost. Watering should be stopped 4 to 5 days prior to taking out the compost so that earthworms go into deeper layers for moisture and the manure and earthworms can be separated. Conclusion now you have thoroughly understood the following. What is wormy compost? Benefits of wormy compost to farmers. Suitable location for wormy compost preparation. Materials required for preparation of wormy compost. Tools and implements required for preparation of wormy compost pits. How to construct wormy compost pits and tubes. Procedure for preparation of wormy compost. How to know that wormy compost have developed. Utilization of wormy compost. Precautions to be taken in preparing vermi compost.